Graham from the Homebrew Network here. I went out today and got myself some supplies to build a uh, a hop spider. This will be the first time I ever built one. So I thought I'd share it with you. So um, I'm going by BYO Magazine's um, stuff. So they got a uh, four inch to three inch adapter reducer or uh, PVC. I wasn't too sure about that. I'm gonna go with it anyway since the guy used it and I looked up the uh, how hot PVC can get. It says something on about 140 degrees but since I'm not actually gonna have this in the boil it's gonna be up top. I'm gonna assume that's gonna be not that hot up there so it'll be safe. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. I got myself a uh, hose clamp to go over that. We've got ourselves three carriage bolts. Uh, I measured the size of the opening in my boil kettle which is a 15 gallon keg and came to about 11 to 11 and a half inches. So with this being four inches, which eats up a lot of space in the opening, I got myself carriage bolts that were about four and a half inches long. I think. <laughs> I could have sworn that's what I bought. Last but not least, you gotta have the bag that you're gonna put whatever you wanna add into your boil kettle. Remember, the hop spider is used not just for hops, but you can use it for other additions too, such as other adjuncts like orange peel and uh, spices that come in seeds like coriander. I used coriander once without putting it into a bag. Big mistake. Clogged up all my, um, all my lines and everything. So we're going to hop. We're going to... We're gonna we're gonna put this on the end of this guy. See, figure that'd be big enough. So you could put any size bag you want on it. it really doesn't matter, um, so long as it fits inside your boil. So I'm gonna follow this up with uh, getting my drill out, the proper size bits for the carriage bolts. I also forgot to include, I got a mixture of washers and nuts. Don't forget your nuts. I got mine. All right, let's get this show on the road. Now I'm just gonna go with the simple pattern of a tripod-like setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully this pencil will work. Oh, it does, isn't that awesome? I'm going to, and marking the spots where I'm going to be drilling. So if I'm gonna be drilling here, I wanna drill about right here, and right here. I'm gonna try my best to get them at about the same height, so that way it's balanced. Okay, let's test, let's test it out. Oh, yes. Quarter inch carriage bolts, quarter inch size bit. Works awesome. So we got our holes drilled. There's one, two, three, and here's two. Here's one. So when we get done with this thing, it should look like this. OK. 
Okay. Next part's even simpler. We're just going to take our nuts and washers. They ask for six. So you're going to put two nuts per carriage bolt, two washers per carriage bolt. Oh, I get my nuts out. Yes, I am. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Get them while they're hot. Okay. Two more washers. Fantastic. Okay, I'm done with you. Go ahead. Two. Always remember to drop stuff on the floor. It works out great. I'm going to go ahead and throw these on. This is where the speed camera comes into play. I'm gonna put on my carriage bolt. Carriage bolt, carriage bolt, carriage bolt. Okay, so we got these on. Looking good. Next up, gonna put our bag on. Gonna get my bag on, yes I am. Gonna get this bag on if I can. Uh uh uh. That's how we send it up in here. Gonna tighten this down. Oh goodness gracious. They say on BYO to buy whatever clamp size fits best for the reducer that you buy. I agreed with him on the size reducer. Um, I just like having a bigger size so I don't worry about missing <laughs> missing the hole. You can make all the jokes you want about that. Um, so since this is a four to three inch reducer, I went ahead and got the three to five inch hose clamp. Gives me plenty of room to play with. And we're on there. It's nice and snug. So here is your hop spider. I hope I went through that with full detail. Um, just an overview. Three carriage bolts. Six washers, six nuts. One hose clamp that fits the bottom of your reducer. I used PVC. I was uh, toying with the idea of just using a metal can, but um, uh, I, uh, I usually cut myself very easily when I'm playing with muddles, so I decided to <laughs> skip that. Now I've hand tightened these. I'm gonna go back and tighten them with a, uh, with a wrench later, so. Um, that's it. So remember, brew good beer, brew it safely, and have fun.